everyone, it's Melissa. I wanted to do a quick video today to show you some recent things that I am trying and some things that I have bought uh, just to kind of keep you updated. <laughs> I don't know if you care or not, but I'm keeping you updated anyway. Okay, so the first thing is I saw this article that said uh, Miss Universe's under $100 loafers from Amazon should be on your fall shopping list. So I bought them. They are from Franco Sar Sarto. And there they are. They are gorgeous. They're a loafer. And um, here's the back of them. They are a loafer. And the beautiful thing about them is they have such a nice, pretty, sharp looking heel. The, the little sharp toe and the way they're cut up at the top like that. These are absolutely gorgeous shoes. Very, very soft leather, extremely soft leather. Just, you know, really very, very comfortable to wear. After looking at this carefully and playing this back when I was editing it, I realized that the shoes they sent me had been returns shoes that were used you can tell by the creasing and they were stretched out very wide so i did want to point that out i contacted them they were very nice about it they're sending me a new pair and sending me you know the free label to send these back but if you do order these shoes look very very carefully at them to make sure they're brand new and not some returns uh, the next thing that I had bought, and this was, I saw a video from Lisa, Lisa, Lisa D1. Yeah, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's who it was. And it's an eyeshadow that I have on today. I remember that I always used to use, um, and so I, I've got this on today and I have been doing it recently. Uh, let's see, Mary Kay Eyeshadow in uh, Moonstone. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, I've got another one ordered. But it is a beautiful, beautiful color. You can't see it, and I can't turn it over because it's about to crumble. But it's a beautiful color, and uh, so I put that on all over from my lid all the way up into, you know, up to my brow bone. And I used to use a, a sh eyeshadow stick from Mary Kay, but it got discontinued. It was a purple color, but it was a purple gray. And so I saw this and Lisa had swatched it and I thought that looks like it is close to the color that I had before. This is it, but when it goes on, it's from MAC. I'm sorry, it's from MAC and the color is uh, Rich Core. Now, when you, it looks like it would be a real purple, but when it goes on, it's got that touch of gray in it too. And I'll show it to you on my eyes. I have been thrilled with this because you know when you when you love something and use it for a period of time, then they discontinue it. Uh, you know, it just makes you it makes you upset. I have been swatching colors every time I go to Sephora or Ulta. I will swatch colors and look. Nope, it's not the same as the the stick that I had from Mary Kay. Nope, that's not the same. You know, I'll be going around all different colors with swatches all over me. Now that's not the same. But uh, this is very, very close. But this is the color I was looking for and I am just thrilled with it. I just really like it a lot. So I have mentioned several times that I just love this. This is a little speaker. I take it and put it up in the top of the shower where water can't get to it. It's from I Love and um, it's, I've just had it for several years, use it every day in the shower I listen to, in the shower I listen to podcasts, sorry, a piece of fuzz. I listen to podcasts and just have really enjoyed it. Well, I noticed that it had been skipping on me, like I would be listening to something and go, hoo, 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 you know, so part of the words would get left out. So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to do another one. You know, it's had a good run because it was, you know, very inexpensive and I'd, I'd used it daily for, for several years. So I found this on Amazon by the same people. It is the I Love People. And this is how it looks like when it's hanging up. It is made for your shower. Now I don't get it directly in the shower, but you says you can stick it up anywhere in your 
like around your surround in your shower and it'll be just fine. So this is the thing that goes with it. So you can, you can attach it to this and then stick it on something and push that thing down and it will, it will stick. Or you can hang it around the shower spout, uh, you know, the shower th thing that the shower comes out of and then stick it to the wall and um, it'll stay. And I guess, I don't put it, I just put it back up where I had it before because I don't have a, a hard surface. I just have a shower curtain. We have a bathtub with, uh, you know, I have one of those old fashioned bath bathtubs with a surrounding shower curtain. So I don't have a wall. It's, it sits kind of in the middle of the room, so I don't have a wall. So I just, I have a little uh, tray up above and so I just stick it up there. But this is going to do better in the water because for one thing, you know, it covers up your plug. That's where you charge it. You can go louder or softer, or you can push it down and hold it and go forward. Push it down and hold it and go backward. Uh, let's see, this is, you can take a phone call right here. This is how you hook it up to your Bluetooth and um, how you turn it off and on. Charge it up, do it to your Bluetooth, stick it up in your shower and you're good to go. Just take it down periodically and charge it up. You plug it into a charger and charge it. It comes with all the you know stuff with it and you're good to go. But I just, uh, I used it this morning. Boy, does it do a great job. You can see the speaker right there. It really, really just good, clear sound. I could hear my podcast, no skipping. I just absolutely love this. I'm tickled to death with this and it's the, it's the little things, isn't it? I just, I'm thrilled to death with it. There's some more pictures of it. Really, really like this a lot. So it's the I Love Odd AUD Shower with water resistant Bluetooth speaker with hands free talking. So you can just carry on your conversation while you lather up. The next one is a Oh, this palette. And I, I showed a picture of it on Instagram and someone asked me to do a tutorial of it, so I think I will do that. I tried to do it yesterday, but my camera just, you know, just didn't look right on me. So I'm gonna try it again, probably tomorrow or the day after, but this is the uh, Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral, $20. Look at that packaging, isn't that beautiful? Now it's, uh, you know, it doesn't have a mirror, but that's okay, I've got plenty of mirrors. But these are the colors. I love the color combination of coral and gray. And these grays are just, they're just beautiful grays. And there's one right there. And then you've got your corals with it. So when I saw that, because I do like that color combination, when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, that's in one palette. I don't have to search around for a gray and search around for a coral. It's there in one palette. And boy, they're nice to use. Very, very beautiful. Got them in Ulta, so. Love that. And I have been using my Laura Mercier foundation. I'm getting ready to order another one. I got it back out for months and months. I have been using the Lancome Stick Foundation and I thought, uh, you know, it's not looking quite the way I want, want it to on my, my skin. And um, I have used the Laura Mercier for a long time. It's the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. Uh, I use Bamboo Beige. And uh, like I said, get ready to order some more. But I got this back out. I had used it for a long time for, oh gosh, several years. Had always been real happy with it, but do you know how you get to try other things? And I discovered stick foundations, so I went to stick foundations. But I love to use it with this Sephora brush, so please, you know, I used it this morning, so please excuse that it has been used. But this is the Sephora brush, it's number 46, and it is a pro flawless bronzer brush. But gosh, it's just perfect for applying this. Uh, I always used to apply it, well, I would apply it either with this or the Artiste brush, but uh, I think I'm, I'm liking this brush to use it with, but yeah, just easy, easy to do and just, just such a beautiful finish. So, going back to that, that's it. Those are the new things I have bought and uh, an oldie that I've gone back to was the Laura Mercier Foundation. I just, I love that foundation and for some reason, I just, I just have a feeling they're going to discontinue it. I don't know why. Maybe not. 
maybe not, but it just seems like when I, when things have been around for a while, and when I start going back to it and liking it again, then that's when it gets discontinued. So, I think I'm a jinx. But anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this is just a little quick little video. Uh, and I will do the Juvia look next. Uh, I'll follow that palette. I have been wearing the heck out of it, but I did want to do the other one today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.